I really <gasps> All of the tears of my exes will go in there. <laughs> Get those cheeky skid marks. If I have a boy come around, he'll sleep right here. Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. I was too busy rocking on my rocking chair. <laughs> Today is the last day the rocking chair will be a thing. Although I've grown quite accustomed to it. It's quite therapeutic, just, you know, rocking here. Because the sofa, the sofa is arriving! Yay! We're going up in the world. We are going up in the world. Can you imagine? What a luxury to have a sofa to sit on. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to the moving vlog part two where, you know, things I feel like are going to be picking up in this vlog. Last time was just me scraping wallpapers. This time I'm getting furniture. We really are going up in the world. I've had to be sleeping on the floor and sat on this. It could be, life could be worse. But I am very ex looking forward to having a sofa. Oh my god, look what has arrived. <gasps> my sofa. I don't have to sit on this little creepy rocking chair anymore. And you can see it's from Snug. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to open it and see the colour and stuff. But yeah, it's looking a bit crazy. There's a lot of boxes. So I'm thinking it's going to be... I don't know. It's a corner one. So I feel like it's going to be a little bit hard to assemble. But fingers crossed it's alright. Right, so we've got... The two-seater out wasn't too hard. Have got Danny helping me. It looks good. I can see why it's called the cloud sofa. And it's so funny when I sit on it, my legs are even, <laughs> can't even touch the floor. <laughs> okay, so we need to get the arms out now. And then the corner bit after. All right, well, we've got one arm on now. It was easy enough. And now we're going to open the chase bit, which makes it a corner. So I didn't know all of these are like interchangeable. So we could put the other arm on and have like a cute two seater now, but we've got the chase bit. So you never know in the future, you might want to go back to a two seater. I love it. Yay, it's done. Oh my God, it looks so good. It looks better than like even I thought it would look on the pictures. And I feel like when all my stuff is out of this room, this side it'll be perfect because we're going to have the TV there and I'll just be lying there watching TV. It's like, Really nice, velvety. I love the colour. Like, that is a gorgeous colour. And my pictures are going to go above it. Ah! <laughs> I've never been so happy for a piece of furniture to arrive in my bloody life. I'm so... Does it suit me? I have never had such a beautiful sofa. Like, I've always just had, you know, whatever the landlord I lived in would let me have. Or, like, the cheapest one. But now I feel like, I don't know, like, I can finally make... This place my own, I have a bit more freedom here and I'm so happy because I have always wanted a green sofa. I don't know what it is, I just think green is really cool and different. Like everyone has cream sofas, but green is like jazzy, you know? It kind of shows my personality and I feel like that's what a sofa should do. So I don't know what this says about my personality to be honest. And there's so many ways you can dress it up with like throws and pillows, but yeah, it's velvet. And I love that it has the chase, the chase, chase lounge, chase because a corner sofa wasn't really gonna fit in this space but again a corner sofa is something i've always wanted like when i was younger and i went around my friends houses and they had corner sofas i was like that is the pinnacle of wealth like i know i've made it when i've got a corner sofa and <laughs> we're basically there we're basically there but i want to show you it from every angle so yeah it definitely takes up a lot of the living room but because this in here is like high ceilings i feel like it works but look at this oh this is the chaise lounge I genuinely feel like you could probably sleep like, oh my god, you could sleep on here. So it's not a sofa bed, but I do feel like if you had a friend round, because you could sleep this way too. So I'm just thinking of practicality, but yeah, you'll find me like this, watching TV. I'm a little bit. I'm just, yeah, I'm insanely happy. This was 100% worth the wait. So if you don't know about Snug, it's basically like a sofa in a box. I think I had a few clips of me putting it together. Mainly Danny was putting it together. But my friend Tina has a snug sofa and she said to me she put it together really quickly because it does just like slot in, like all these parts slot. And again, what I love about these is you can sort of change it to make your own sofa. So the chase bit here could come off and I could just have it as a standalone and then I could have this as a two-seater. So you can kind of create the sofa. You can add like a sofa bed a bit. Obviously, if you've got family staying for Christmas, they do actually have an offer on at the moment, which is like, it's an insane deal. Black Friday, it's 20% off site-wide. Like, if you're in the market for a sofa and you're wanting to get a good quality one that's going to last you, the comfiest thing ever, go to Snug right now for Black Friday because I'm sorry, that is a lot of money off these sofas, 20%. 
the cloud one sis it is luxurious like it genuinely does what it says it feels like you were sitting on a cloud like it's so I can't even hit the floor. But spill resistant, pet friendly and vegan fabrics, which of course will cater to a lot of people's needs for sofas. But yeah, I would say now is the best time. Also, their delivery, I was shocked at how quick it came because other sofas, when I was looking around to buy a sofa, was genuinely saying like, oh, this sofa's not gonna arrive until like next year. A lot of sofas take ages, whereas snug, you can get like next day or like, latest i think mine was like a week maybe and that's fine i had my rocking chair but it is really quick so if you do want it in time for christmas and you've got those pesky family members round um definitely check it out now they also do 12 months interest free um finance if you want to get the sofa that way because obviously i know it is a big like it's a big lump of money to pay all at once so if that works for you they do it between 500 and 5000 so that's always a little plus. But yeah, I'll leave the link down below if you do want to go have a look. Like, they're so nice. Also, go on their Instagram because the way people have styled it, because they have like this, they have grey, taupe, I think they have the navy. Go on there. Oh, they have like a really gorgeous like teal colour. But obviously, I'm a florist green, pine green babes. I'm actually going to try and style this now. I do need to put on put up some photos and like get a throw but it's harder than it looks styling so yeah should we just try it and try and jazz it up as cute as he is i think he needs a little pizzazz he needs a little bit of sadifying sadifying that's not a thing stop stop trying to make fetch happen why is it genuinely just the most beautiful thing obviously it needs a lot of work like it needs i'm thinking two photos i'm thinking some pillows a rug coffee table but for now i mean you can still see all my boxes in the corner this is the best part of my house for sure like this is gorgeous right so for styling with sadie i just know i'm gonna be bad at this so please don't judge i've got these new pillows i didn't i was thinking like pink with a green sofa so is that too big put it on the other side oh oh i like that oh you can't even see oh wow this is the kind of thing that mums make look really easy oh this pillow gorge so like a little green in the middle yeah yeah then it gets a bit confusing i should have got two of the pinks i got another pink at this like tropical one what are we thinking is it going then i got this little mini one but then i don't know oh is that i need more i don't know i need to get a few more pillows but these are cute they've got this sort of like rattany rust rusty rustic not rusty rustic throw from boohoo what should we do with that? I don't really see this is what I mean. Like my mum would have had this on here. Oh the tag's still on. Bloody hell. Okay, so I don't know whether to just do it over the side, like that. Oh my day oh my days! Does that look cute? I think it does. I think that looks quite sweet. I mean it's a work in progress, but for now we'll leave it. But I need to get my photos up. So I still have these from the last house. Oh my god, this oh! And then he fell on me. They're huge from Poster Lounge. And I was thinking above. Oh my god, that's gonna look so nice. But they're so big, and I don't really know how to use like a power drill. But do you think strips will be fine? I would love to get them up. I think it will really go. Right, you're gonna have to tell me if it's right. Okay, I'm a bit worried. <laughs> I really don't think these poster strips are going to go on. Oh. Higher. Yeah? Is that look good? Yeah? Oh, this is so hot. Oh, it's already stuck. It's wonky! Does that look okay? Oh my gosh, this is really hard. This is when I need someone to help me. This is why being alone is so hard. But I'm a strong independent woman and we can do this. But it's gonna look unreal. It's gonna look so nice. One is up. If it looks wonky, mind your business, Hans. Mind your business. Yeah? Do you like it? I really- <gasps> ah! <laughs> Take two, we're getting the second one up. One up, one down, one to go. I honestly think these are gonna be hot being held up by faith at this point. <laughs> right, oh! This is not safe, this is not safe. Should we, how far? Yeah? Does that look even? Let me know, is it even? <laughs> There must be a better way for me to do this. 
Oh, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to say that's fine. Oh. I definitely need to get a drill up in here, but oh, what does that look like? Yeah? Yeah? Oh! It looks good. I can't lie, I don't know if they're even, but it looks good from here. <laughs> I am proper happy with that. I think that looks gorgeous. I'm not very good at decoration, but yeah, this is beautiful. They are gonna fall down any second. I just know it, but I've ordered better strips and I'll have to just get a drill if not, but it looks really pretty. I'm so happy. So nice, oh my God. What do you think? Rate my styling out of 10. I would give it 10. It's fun while it lasted, which was about 2.5 seconds. Also, Han, I don't know if you know, but it had storage, so the chase, comes with storage so easy because I am a storage queen. I need so much space and it's so good if you're living in like a small apartment or flat. Look, so easy, there's a little handle, you pull it up. Ta-da, so I've just put my like storage bags in there while I work out what to put in here, but yeah, absolutely love it. I am <laughs> very, very happy, as we can all see. Famous IKEA, apparently these towers, what are they, British heritage, these towers? Yeah, English. English heritage, these are apparently, but IKEA have taken them over. Well, we're in Croydon right now, my favourite place in London. Um, welcome to my kitchen, guys. I'm just making a loaf of bread. I've come to IKEA and I'm genuinely planning my whole life. See, we're going to make our outside side bit look like this, apparently. It's almost like what I'd want to do. In mum's house. Yeah, I like these because you can have your throws in there and then when you're cold, yeah, yeah, then you get your stuff out. We don't really have a coffee table, but I don't really, it's not on my top of my priorities list, like, if I'm honest, because, yeah, I really like the idea of having a clear one, do you know, well, I'm not paying that, that's what I mean, have you seen the clear ones, that's too big, that's a dinner table, it's their food, Oh, this is my outfit today. I wear this outfit every day. I don't know why. Yeah, it's just my boohoo bomber jacket. I feel like my hair only looks good if I have makeup on, which I do not have today. Finally doing the last bits of the house. So obviously I had to come on a cheeky Ikea trip. Yeah, it's one of the cubes because I need a lot of storage. And I did not know you could get like all these little things. So like, look, you can have a basket to go in or you can get different drawers. So I might... I don't know whether to get that. Like, I could get white drawers to separate it like for little makeup bits. But then I do just... I don't mind the basket, but is the basket more than the drawers? Two drawers is 22, basket is 17. You might as well get two drawers, babe. I've always ordered one of these. They're, quite, they're actually quite cheap. Like I think a, a smaller unit, the one I'm getting is about 55, which I think is pretty good. So I'm getting this one, so you get four. Then I'm gonna get some like this. And then look, just like they did, get a little plant or something. Honestly, I should be an interior designer. So Danny just told me a really cool fact about this. Apparently the Billy bookcase, I use this for like my shoes and bags. What is it? They sell one every 30 seconds, one every 30 seconds of this because 25 quid, I'm sorry, it's the best thing I've ever seen. So we drove down to my new house with me in the back of the car with this, didn't we? And I was nearly falling out the boot. I probably shouldn't be telling you that, but it's quite fun. I loved living life on the edge. Really like this vase, really like that. Tenor. Mm. Mm, no. But, oh, the other one that you saw? Oh my God, he's a gamer. <laughs> Why would Rocco like Rocco and Marlon would love this? God, I all my life I've always wanted these because all the YouTube girls have them for their makeup. So you have like foundations, lipsticks, yeah. eyeshadows, mm -hmm. everything. Um, all of the tears of my exes will go. <laughs> <laughs> this is my dressing room. Today I'm going to wear this. I'm obviously going to get meatballs, because what else? I mean, apparently the chicken schnitzel is nice too, but I think meatballs is the one, lads. It's Danny's fuming because people are pushing in the queue, so we're about to start fight. Oh, I don't know. Chips and mashed potato. I feel like I'm at a school canteen. I absolutely love it. I'm definitely getting the meatballs, but it's like, do I get chips or mash? Oh, oh. Chips is a bit naughty, a bit dirty, isn't it? Oh my God, look, Danny's forced the guy to get him a cheesecake. Poor guy's just doing his job, trying to stack the shelves. Danny pops out of nowhere like, got any cheesecake, mate? <laughs> I caved, I got chips. It do look good though. Danny got the schnitzel and the cheesecake. Lingonberry. What is a lingonberry? I've never heard of this, but it's so good. Why is life so hard? Like, I literally need two lampshades. They're like, how do I pick? I don't know what I want. 
Like, I thought I wanted this. This is fucking huge. I definitely don't want that. This just reminds me of like, I don't know, it just gives me ratty vibes. Like someone could just walk into it. Cause my, my, I don't have high ceilings anymore. Oh, why don't I get the little, oh, I can get the little butterflies on my wall. Oh, we're going into the flower shop. Oh, there's nice vases in here. Oh, like that one is lovely. This stand, that's so nice. This is only 125. This one's 75p. What? Oh, that's a bloody bargain, that. Oh, we, need, we need to have the makeup drawers then. I can't lie, girlies, I was about to go off. I was about to start a fight with Ikea worker. And then Danny, luckily, he just spotted it. I get to push the trolley, it's really heavy. Oh look, they have a little gingerbread house baking kit. They're so cute. Danny's off to get some meatballs. That IKEA trip was chaotic and I did spend a little bit more than I thought. You're always gonna spend money at IKEA, aren't you? Because as you're walking around, it's, the marketing is insane. You're literally just like, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. I want that, I want that. But I'll do a little haul of what we got and then I'm gonna I'll do a little haul of what I got and then I'm gonna start filling up my drawers oh my god i'm so excited okay so some of these are boring but you see i got this vase it was actually like one pound 20 or like 75p like that's insane it's actual glass i feel like just with like singular flowers would be so cute i need to buy some fake flowers because realistically i'm not gonna you know keep buying new flowers and i did i showed you in the store but i did pick up the other pink vase that was 10 but i think it's just a gorgeous pink color to go on like the mantelpiece a lot of my accents to this living room are gonna be pink a lint roller this is what I mean, you just pick up random bits. Not for my clothes, literally for the sofa, because the sofa I've ordered is velvet, which does pick up stuff every now and then. So I just want to be, you know, squeaky clean. Anyone with my fluffy pajamas afterwards, I'll be like, I want to keep that. That sofa is going to be my pride and joy. Okay, so I'm going to look after it with my lint roller. I also, I should have got more fake plants. I felt a bit rushed. I felt a bit like confused at the end, but I did just get this like hanging ivy, which I'm going to put like, up on top of those shelves because I think that's really pretty just hanging down um there was loads but I feel like this dark green color would be most flattering with the green sofa um I think this was around five pounds um, yeah I'm gonna have a mix of real and fake plants because I don't know if I can trust myself to look after a plant I just got two lampshades again I think they were literally five pound I my rooms are pretty small like I don't have high ceilings in the bedroom and I didn't want to you know swamp the room with this huge grand lampshade but i did need one because it looks pretty <laughs> it looks so right about a lampshade but yeah they're i mean what more can i say about them they're just really basic but i feel like they're gonna you know do a lot a toilet brush again i think this was around one pound something but it's just one of those annoying adult things that you don't want to buy but you have to buy because get those cheeky skid marks <laughs> It is pretty crap with plastic, but the other ones were like, I'm not paying £10 for a toilet brush. There's just some things. Some things I think are worth the money yet, and some things are not. Sadly, a toilet brush is not. Light bulbs. This, like, mat, um, it's pretty ugly. It's actually just because uh, I need a doormat. I don't love it. I don't really don't love it, but it's, yeah, it gets very muddy and, like, wet leaves are, like, coming in the door, so. <laughs> got a sheer, like, got, like, a sheer white curtain thing to go over my closet just because... I don't want to see my clothes when I'm sleeping. Um, you'll see it. It's like an open closet. I'll put that up later on. And finally, just some drawer organizer, which I'm going to organize this, which I'm going to hopefully put in the Alex drawer. So, yeah. The rest of the stuff I got was obviously the big stuff, the furniture. All right, the IKEA storage drawers are up. Took me only 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> only 15 minutes but it took Danny 15 minutes this would have taken me about five years so I mean it's looking a bit crazy but I wanted to utilize the hallway space we've got these um and then you can get like storage cubes and put them in but these are a bit small I need to get the big Ikea ones so I can have all my products and like shoes and stuff in here and I also got the little drawers but it's looking a bit drawers are moving mad <laughs> that's all cleaned <laughs> okay it takes an army doesn't it Mum's on the clean. Danny's on the DIY. What am I doing? Existing. Family roast in my new house. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't do that. I'll take yours, innit? Like, no! Shit, no! I'll take that, innit? Oh, no, I'm because I'm so good to my family, I always yeah. cook them a roast on Sunday. <laughs> 
Oh, right. I cook, I, don't I cook you all a roast on Sundays? Oh, don't you all love me? Thank you very much. Thank you. You're so welcome. <laughs> the mint sauce and lamb for me Sunday dinner, loves. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them all. On my new sofa, scoffing my chocolate, living the best lives. Yep. Sachet <laughs> away. <laughs> Who do you think would win out of a lip sync battle out of you three? Oh, me. You, oh, you, you actually, you did a dance battle the other day. Did I? And Bethan said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I have never seen Marlon ever move like that before. <laughs> what, what song was it? Hot Stuff. Oh. Oh, yeah. It was on Yeah. yeah. It, what did you have to do? It was just, it was just, no, it's just like a dance off between, was it you and Johnny? Yeah. Yeah. It was just a random dance off. Nothing, nothing no one won, Mum. No, I won. Oh, come on. Come on, Mum. So I'm whimpering. I remember, I can't remember like what I did. I remember doing the dance. <laughs> so what, was what was he doing? Well, obviously it was good then, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, hold on. There's a reason you were like stomping like this. Yeah. And then you were like. Ah, ah, no! Ah, and really? And then he was like this. <laughs> 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 I thought that was like. I have never seen one. I've never seen that. <laughs> Where did you learn that? That felt like it was coming out of you for a while. <laughs> like it was ready to. It was a ha you had to be that moment. Yeah, yeah. Please say something that Harry see, says. Yeah. You <laughs> literally like Daniel Radcliffe. No. Say something right now that Harry says. You've literally watched Harry Potter your whole life, and you. I can't think. You put me on the spot. Okay, say like that. <laughs> Say, um, hey, oh, what does Harry even say? say Harry has no good one liners. He's dead character, man. He actually is. Benny Armour's. Yeah, that one. Right, so Sadie's checking if she's uh, too big for the bed. So Am I? She thinks that this is a good idea. Am I too big? There's a mattress coming. There's also a mattress coming. Am I too big for the bed? You're fucking huge, mate. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Is it heavy? No, it's just awkward, isn't it? We're trying to get the bedside table out because I'm hoping. It'll fit down. We've got a very, very tight little place it can go, but I'm hoping we can get it in. It's a moment of truth, Hans. Can she get it? Oh! Right. Yeah, right. Oh, oh, it just fits. Just fits! Yay! Woo! It's the little things in life that make me happy. I mean, it's a tight squeeze, but at least I have a bedside table. <laughs> It's gonna be way higher than my bed though. So we're just trying to configure this room. Please ignore all the crap. I don't know how I've only been here for two weeks and I've already made it so messy. The Alex drawers, I'm thinking would be better on this side. And then the rail we fit into there. Mirror here, shelves here. Obviously they will not look like this. Like why is there a singular shoe? Like this is so gross, but yeah, I need to just move all of that. That's just bedding and things. And then hopefully soon we'll have like some form of makeup filming room. No, I'm sorry, darlings. <laughs> I thought putting a lampshade on was easy peasy. I'm sure I've done it once in my life before. But why is it like that? I've been watching this video online. I've been literally Googling, what, YouTubing how to fit a ceiling light. That is what my life has come to. How to... Yes, not really. I'm glad people make these videos. They must make loads of money. Look, he's fitting it for me. So twist and take out. So what I've done wrong is I haven't taken off, like, the top bit, I've only taken off the bowl, but you need to screw another bit out, like who? No one tells you these things. My daddy issues are screaming. So I didn't live with my dad for very long, so I d he didn't teach me to do this, right? Now I'm fuming, because I'm here feeling like an idiot, because I can't put a fucking lampshade on. And I now also feel like I could have probably got a bigger lampshade for this room, that looks a bit pathetic. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. How many Sadies does it take to do one light bulb? So I fucked up, because I know what I've done now. So. It's a bayonet light bulb, I know that. Bayonet. Let me unscrew this. Nah, it doesn't come off! Oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna have to wait till Danny comes around and do this. I can't do this. Oh, come on, I really wanna be a strong, independent woman, but I actually cannot. I actually cannot do this. Um. Aha! I found this on the sides, and I think this might be the missing part. So I wasn't being dumb, it genuinely was missing a part. So all of you who underestimated me, what? <laughs> right, round two, round two. I've got the little bit, so we're gonna do it this time. Wait, where's the fucking bulb? Where's the fucking bulb? Right, I've got it all, I've got it all, ignore me. Okay, I'm gonna do this. 
then you need to do this. No. <laughs> I'm actually gonna say that I'm fully, I'm fully fucking done. But like, I never knew, like, no, sorry, this is the worst thing ever. Look at it. Wait, you can't see with the light on. It's long. <laughs> it's literally lopsided. You can't see. Oh. I shouldn't even be putting this on here because I'm really exposing how little I know about, li about life things. But, but, one thing good that has come out of this, I be before you just DM me, obviously you guys know we haven't been chatting loads, it's just the long distance got hard, but he was like, babe, I got you. Oh my god, I'm such a damsel in distress, like please come help me with my lampshades. <laughs> so, hopefully he's flying back soon anyway, not to see me, but, I mean, if he wants to come round and help me with all the stuff that I need doing, I'm not gonna say no, Huns. I'm gonna use them for all they're worth. That's enough of doing boring things that I hate doing and I'm bad at. Let's do something I'm good at. Ooh la la. Makeup organization. When I tell you I've wanted these drawers, honestly, ever since I saw them when I was about 16 and I could never afford them. It's just drawers for makeup, it's not a chest of drawers, but I was like, the amount of makeup I have is worth more than these drawers and I wanna look after it and you know, take pride in my makeup collection and already I've started filling it so at the bottom like I've put electricals in here so it would just make my life easier like in my old room it was a lot of clutter whereas here I'm gonna try and like put everything in its own place so it's got nine drawers the bottom ones are thicker and the top ones are smaller so I'm gonna try and fit organizers in and then we can see what we do this one I've put two of the things and that they kind of you know you could fit oh do I do like a another one they're really like deep drawers so i don't know if i do you can literally get at that but then you're not going to reach that back one hmm maybe not all the palettes so i'm just going to put all the anastasia yes i have the anastasia i have so many that i barely use like all these like subculture palette when am i ever going to use that again Alyssa edwards palette like it's so bright look it's just hard because i love makeup and i used to be such a makeup collector I don't want to get rid of them, but it is a bit like, am I just holding on to things for the sake of it? Oh, this one. What even is this? Prism palette. Like, that is so old. But maybe if they're close to me, I mean, this is me just lying to myself. Maybe if they're near to me, I'll, you know, delve into them a bit more. Like, ultraviolet. I've got cyber. Lovely. And soft glam. Soft glam I'm going to put right in the front because I might even have soft glam out on my table because genuinely that is my most used palette. It literally fits perfectly. I can see why everyone loves these for makeup. So bottom one, I'm just going to put all like hair products, hairsprays, any styling bits like gels and things. Just because I feel like hair products out look a bit ugly and then in the bathroom I'll have hair shampoos and stuff. But body creams, things like that. Like, oh, I could have like tan and body stuff in that one. Hair in that one, perfect. Got like this skinny tan peach whip. Oh, that in there. Like my sienna, love that. I also love, yeah, skinny tan, sienna. And then I'd say Saint Tropez stuff is my fave tan at the moment. Every time I go for my makeup, I am actually shocked at how much I have. Like who needs 10 different setting sprays? It's not normal, is it? This behavior is not normal. So this is the face draw so far. So this is setting sprays, like MAC, I'm in Decay Rimmel. Um, primers, glow stuff, concealer, and then we're gonna do foundations there. Here's gonna be the blusher drawer we made in this here yet. No, I think we've got two free ones, which I guess one will be lip products, one might be like lashes. I don't know if you're seeing this right now, but this is a very, very big moment for me. My mattress has arrived. Oh, you don't understand. I can't just sleep like this. You don't understand. Like, I have waited for you for so long. I literally just got it from Don Elm, and I'm like, the, the, the fact that tonight will be the first night I'm gonna sleep on a proper bed with a proper mattress in like two weeks is astounding. I I I now have a newfound gratefulness. Yeah, gratefulness, gratitude for like little things, just like bed and a sofa and just living like a normal person. You know, like it really really puts into perspective how much we take for granted. Because yeah, I can't wait to not be on the floor like a little rug. It was a pretty cheap mattress, I can't lie. It was from Dunham, I think it was like 140. So it's a spring one. Um, 
you'll kind of see on the side like it's a spring but the top layer is memory foam so i'm hoping that with a mattress top it will be fine i didn't really realize mattresses were meant to be a lot of money but it makes sense to obviously invest in it because you sleep on it every night but i mean hopefully it's fine obviously i was trying to do a lot of things in this house on a budget and i did spend like 300 on the bed frame i probably should have spent less on the bed frame but it's pink <laughs> the mattress is on oh my god what a beautiful sight i have waited fucking weeks for this moment oh. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be the best sleep ever and i know all of you are being like oh 100 pound mattress so cheapskate it's 140 pounds actually and also the reason i didn't get a really expensive one is because i've got a small double can you see this bed it almost looks like a single <laughs> it barely fits on the bed but yeah i'm not gonna have a small double for the rest of my life am i like but for now this room is so small i wanted like just a little bit bigger than a single i don't have a boyfriend i don't need a big bed right now like this look even this is big for me <laughs> see and if i have a boy come around he'll sleep right here you know and he'll be spooning me all night like this so it doesn't really matter that's why i didn't invest in a really expensive one so the top layer of this is um memory foam we'll link it for anyone who wants to join the cheap mattress crew i'll let you know how it goes it might be awful i have got mattress toppers and things so i'm gonna put that my sheets and oh my god uh i put new pajamas on tonight and i feel like i'm gonna have the best sleep ever is it sex proof is it making noise i don't know who i'm kidding like i'm not one i'm not having sex and when i do it's not exactly like adventurous oh that's not good i have to test it out and then i'll let you know <laughs> I don't want to be annoying the neighbours. Right, that's it with some form of bedding on. Definitely looks a lot better. Little runner thing. Oh, I'm very excited to get into bed for once. So this is the final, what I've put in here and what I'll keep stocking up. So on the top, well, I've got my beauty lights there. Just got some brushes and then my favourite perfumes. Obviously the Ariana Grande, Gizu hair stuff and then Victor and Rolf. This is, these two are my main ones that I get compliments on. So first drawer is skincare. I've got like my teeth whitening strips, just any skincare bits that I don't use every, every day. Although you should be using SPF every day, hands. Second drawer is for face stuff. So we have my foundations. I would love to get more organizers so it won't stay like this but just so i could unpack it face foundations um concealers setting sprays and primers right at the back there lovely then this is blushes i have a lot of blushes so i have all my mac ones nars laura mercier this kylie one is really good my rare beauty ones face powders i don't have that many bronzers bronzers and highlighters in there then, oh my god, lips. This drawer is so full. Look, so I've got all my MAC, like Anastasia lip glosses, liners, my Maybelline ones, like, yeah, a lot of little lip products. And then I've got all my MAC ones on there. This drawer is for eye stuff. So we have liners, brows, loads of pigments, some random lashes on there, and tools like tweezers and things, cream eyeshadows, and nails. Then we go to the big ones now, and we have all my palettes. Here, I haven't got anything in that one yet. And then this one, I have skin products and hair products. And then, oh, it's a hair powder. Finally, is all my oh, electricals and a vibrator. Woo! I've also started putting my party wear on my rail, and it looks so, so pretty. Very happy with that. Yeah, there's not much more to really update you on. Thanks so much for watching the second moving vlog. I think the next time I update you is when it's like nearly done because you know it's not that interesting probably to see me do each stage like i've made a lot of progress and i'm happy so far i get i feel like it's a bit more livable now i have a bed and a sofa and just places to put things but yeah it's not 100 percent when i i'll do like a proper tour once i feel like it's done but it's been fun to like film the process i'm sure i'll look back when it's all done and be like bloody hell it looked awful at the beginning but thanks so much for watching and yeah i'll see you very very soon have the best week